Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then hey, my name's Brooke. Thanks for clicking on. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an iced white chocolate mocha. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of white chocolate mochas, but somebody commented on one of my videos and asked if I could like make a video making it. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm in my room. <sighs> my chest is red. It's because I have like so much stuff around me because I had to move everything around to get this angle. So bear with me. So the things you guys are going to need to make it is some heavy cream or a dairy replacement for heavy cream, coconut cream, you know, almond cream. Um, a piece of white chocolate. I'm using a Lindor white chocolate truffle because let me tell you, I went to like five different stores to try and find white chocolate specifically for this video. And it is like, I can't find it anywhere. Like, my god, I had to go to like five stores, but you need white chocolate, obviously, because you're going to make white chocolate mocha. Um, I know that you can buy like the white chocolate sauce already made. I think that Ghirardelli sells one, and I think you might be able to buy one by like Tarani or something like that, but we're going to be making it by scratch today. It's pretty easy, um, so if you don't have white chocolate sauce, just get a piece of white chocolate and you'll be fine. And then you're going to need some iced coffee or hot coffee. I'm using cold brew because that's what I drink. <laughs> um, you're going to need a cup to put it in, obviously. A milk frother if you have one. If not, that's perfectly fine. You don't really need it. It's not necessary. But I'm going to add like cream on top of my coffee because I always do. So yeah, that's pretty much all you're going to need. And then you're going to need a milk that you like, whether it be a dairy milk or a milk substitute. Um, I'm going to be using organic 2% milk because it's what I have. So yeah, with all that being said, if you guys are interested in learning how to make it, then please just keep watching. Okay, so first things first is in this cup right here, I have milk. I'm going to actually go warm it up in the microwave, but you're going to need to warm like two or three tablespoons of milk, whether it be your almond milk, your dairy milk, whatever kind of milk you're using. Um, yeah, you're going to warm it up because you're going to put the chocolate into the milk and stir it to melt it because um, I've tried making something like this before and the white chocolate, if you just melt the chocolate and then mix it in with cold coffee, it's not going to work. It's just going to, like, I even poured it on the sides of, like, a cup before and it just sticks there. You can't mix it in because it turns solid because it gets cold from the ice. So, long story short, get some warm milk for your chocolate. I'm going to do that and I'm also going to grab my ice because it's in the kitchen. I don't want it to melt. Yeah, we are back. So I warmed up my milk and I'm back now. So, I'm going to zoom in. So I like got up, sat down for like basically no reason, but you're going to put your little chocolate, white chocolate piece, whatever kind of white chocolate you have, in a bowl. I'm using a clear bowl so you can see what's going on. And then um, I heated some milk up for about a minute. Like I said, two, three tablespoons, four tablespoons, however much it takes for you to get the chocolate melted is fine. I'm going to pour it in here, zoom in so you can see it. Okay. So, you have the white chocolate ball, and I'm going to pour the milk in there. Um, just go ahead and mix this around. It's kind of like a hot chocolate bone. You guys been seeing those videos? I'm sure you probably have. I'm going to mix it in. I use a lot of milk. You don't need to use as much milk. Um, but whatever, it's fine. So, you can see... The chocolate's pretty much melted. I'm going to pour this into another pitcher just so it can cool off because I'm going to be making mine iced. And um, this milk is hot. And I know that it will definitely be melting the ice if I put it in there. So I'm just going to pour it into another pitcher and set it aside and let it cool off for a little bit. In the meantime, what you can do is you can make your, um, your cream for the top. Like I said, this step is optional. I just really like the cream. It's really good. Just gonna pour a little bit in there. Probably like, I'd say like three tablespoons, but like three actual tablespoons, not like three tablespoons when I put like half a cup of milk in there, like not literally. You know what I'm saying? You get it? You get it? Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually add some maple syrup in here because I want it sweeter, and I'm in, I'm making a white chocolate mocha. Okay, nobody on a diet if you're watching this video. So, give me a second. I'm going to add some maple into the heavy cream if 
you don't want it sweeter, just don't do this. You don't have to. It's totally optional. Um, maple to taste. Just add enough maple or you can use vanilla too, like if you have vanilla syrup. Or you can literally just use heavy cream if you want to make just like a cold foam. Or if you're drinking it hot, you can make this foam too. It'll sit right on top just fine. So now you have your foam for the top. You can just set that aside. I'm going to grab your cup. I'm just going to pour your ice into your cup. So um, after that, you're going to take your cold brew. And if you're not making this iced, you can do it hot too. And just pour your hot coffee in there into a cup. Oh, this is the milk with the white chocolate. I'm just going to pour it on top. Okay. And now, the cream foam. Ta-da! Yeah. I fill this to the brim because, um, oops, that's good. Um, like I said, I'm not really into white chocolate, but it does taste really good. It's really good, so. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Can you see that thing just wiggling? <laughs> no, but thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Um, I have over like 300 subscribers now, which is like not a lot to a lot of people, but to me that's crazy. That's so much to me. I'm like so shook that 300 people are interested in seeing what I have to say. I'm like, wow, thank you. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you give this coffee a try. And I hope the person that wanted to see this video watches it and if you do let me know if you try it and if it worked for you and if it helped you at all if you guys have any video recommendations or any recipes or any drinks that you would like to see just comment down below um i will make them as i obviously made this one not even like white chocolate and i drove to like five stores because if you have the time to subscribe to my channel and comment on my video i can make the time to go do the recipe that you want to see or at least attempt it and give it my best effort so yeah with all of that being said happy new year you guys i hope that this year is better than 2020 um you know there's a lot to be said on that subject but we're just going to leave it at that and i hope you guys have a prosperous new year and thank you so much for watching my video bye have a good day evening night whatever it is wherever you are and thank you again